everybody my name's Liz I'm the baker that sews welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber as always it's really lovely to have you here as I share my sewing journey so welcome back to my channel today I'm sharing a roundup of things that I've been getting up to sewing wise this week and um, so it's another episode of my Sunday sewing catch up and we're on episode 46 and um, I've got a couple of things to share with you in terms of what I've been sewing um, I've got a couple of pieces of fabric, I've got a sewing box and a sewing book um, and then a couple of plans for the week. Um, before I dive into all of that I'll let you know what I'm wearing and I'm wearing something that I sewed up not too long ago um, and I shared in one of my Sunday sewing catch-ups and it is the Friday Pattern Company Sawara set made in this gorgeous, um, I think it was like a viscose crepe from Semi Sunshine. I absolutely love the colour of this fabric. So I wore this last night because I went out for dinner with a friend um, and instead of having the crossover at the front, I've reversed the top. So I've got it at the back um, and then I've got it on with the trousers as well. So I thought I'd wear it for this video because actually I really enjoyed wearing it this way around. Um, so yeah, I've just got the top on back to front and then you've got the elastic here. I've got the trousers there and I extended the bodice. I added an extra inch on before I added the elastic um, so that they both overlap and then you don't see my tummy. And then, yeah, the trousers have got the pockets as usual and they've got the waist tight at the front. They're a little bit wide legged um, and lovely and drapey in this fabric. And then the back, if I turn around, you'll be able to see, um, you've just got that V here and then I've got the tie there as well. Um, so it's just another way to wear the set and I thought it worked really nicely. And then I've got a necklace I got last year for my birthday, which is a fox necklace. I'll grab it. I think it's here actually. Um, it's by somebody called Laura Danby. Um, I'll link her shop down below. She's got some really beautiful pieces. But my husband got me this fox necklace for my birthday last year, which is really cute. And they just had that over the top of the um, sort of top just for an extra pop of colour against that green. And I really love wearing this necklace. I think it's really cute. So it was nice to get that necklace out as well. So that's what I'm wearing. Um, I've been sewing a couple of things this week, not a huge amount. I had loads of plans as I talked about um, in my last Sunday sewing catch up. I'm still working my way through sewing up my chocolate denim Persephone pen. Um, I'm just waiting for the jeans buttons to arrive. I did have some jeans buttons at home, but not in the colour that I wanted. I wanted like a sort of a brass colour to go with the chocolate denim. So I'm just waiting for those to arrive and then I can get that finished. I get the blog post sent off to Felicity Fabrics and then I can share them with you. So I'm really excited about sharing those. Um, and then I talked about using some um, jersey fabric that I got for my birthday to sew up a Westcliff dress. And that's the first thing that I've sewn up. It was this gorgeous um, sort of baby pink leopard print um, jersey fabric that I got from Simi Sunshine. And I had enough to turn it into the maxi length um, Westcliff dress. So I've got the pattern here. Here's the Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress. And I've gone for this version with the tear on the bottom. I always chop about four inches off. Well, I don't chop it, but I always shorten the bottom tier because it comes out really, really long on me. I'm five, five foot five. Um, so I always end up taking about four inches off before I cut out the pattern. Um, I'll put pictures in of me wearing it, but I love the Westcliff dress. I think it's a really lovely faux wrap dress. And because it's in jersey fabric, it feels really comfortable. So it's got short sleeves, it's a faux wrap, and then you've got this really beautiful sort of slight gathering into a yoke on the front of the bodice um, on both sides. It's really pretty. I always sew the um, belt into the side seams, so I sandwich it between the top and the skirt, and that creates t um, sort of ties instead of a belt. And then I've got the skirt with the extra little ruffle um, on the bottom. It's really, really comfortable to wear. Um, I haven't worn it yet, but I am looking forward to wearing it. I don't wear these types of dresses to school because I worry that when I'm crouched down, somebody will step on the skirt. They're quite long for work. But I'm looking forward to wearing it over the summer. Um, and I really love that um, colour, that baby pink with the sort of mustardy, pops of um, leopard print and then the little dots all over it as well. So I'm really pleased with that one. I love the Westcliff dress. Um, I've sewn it up loads before, so it meant that that was quite a speedy sew. Uh, so this week's been quite busy at work. We had a disco, which was great fun, and I wore my rainbow gingham dress to the school disco. Um, and that was great fun, seeing how happy the children were dancing along to all the different um, songs they were on. 
Um, and then we also had three sports events happening this week. So one for nursery and then two separate days for um, the year group that I teach in. Um, so it's been a really busy week. And then we also had an art exhibition where the children have all been making lots of things and we showcased that in the hall. So it's been a super busy week with lots of late evenings at work. So I haven't really had a huge amount of time to sew. Um, so when my weeks are like that, I like to have some jersey projects that I can um, sew fairly quickly and not really have to think about them, but still enjoy the process of being able to sew. So I've really enjoyed working on that this week. And then the other project that I've sewn up this week, I talked about possibly doing this last weekend, um, and it is the Lola tank and dress um, pattern. I've got the uh, line drawings here. It's by Stay Stitch Pattern Company. I called it the wrong pattern company last week, but it's Stay Stitch Pattern Company, and it's the Lola tank and dress. And then the line drawings are here. So you can do a fairly cropped tank top, and you can do a tank top that sort of stops at your waist, or you can do the dress. I actually shortened the dress before I cut it out so that it stops just below my knee. This would have gone sort of mid-calf. It would have been quite long on me. Um, but I've um, before I traced it off and before I cut it out with the fabric, I actually took off probably about six inches off the length of the dress so that it stops just below my knee. Um, and I used this gorgeous floral rib knit fabric that I got from Hey Say Sister. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, now, I wasn't sure if I would like the look of the tank top dress on me um, because it's fairly cut out and into. So you end up seeing quite a lot of the shoulder and quite a lot of this area here. Um, I have worn it with a strapless bra. I wouldn't go braless. Um, and also I put a little label in there that says, have a nice day. So that's one of Hey Sister Sister's labels. And this fabric was from Hey Sister Sister too. Um, it is a very close fitting dress. And normally I say things that are quite billowy, quite loose fitting. So it's a very different style um, to what I'm used to. I'll put in pictures of me wearing the dress so you can see what it looks like. I think it will take a little bit of getting used to, but because it's jersey, a ribbon it, it's actually really, really comfortable. And I can see myself wearing this quite a lot over the summer. Um, and I'm definitely gonna make some of the tops as well, because I think they'll go with quite a lot of things that I've got in my wardrobe. And I think the tops will be really versatile for when I'm on holiday as well. Um, but a really, really enjoyable sew, really straightforward. Um, you stitch the shoulder seams, you stitch the side seams, and then it's a, um, oh, what do they call it? It's a band for the neck band and it's a band for the armholes as well. That was a really enjoyable sew. And then I've just top stitched it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see um, with a zigzag stitch. Comes together really quickly and actually was a really straightforward sew. You've only got front dress pattern piece, back dress pattern piece, neck band and then the arm bands. So not very many pattern pieces either. And if you just sewed up the cropped tank top or the tank top, it'd be even more of a speedy sew as well. Um, I think I will sew a few more of these, maybe in a plain rib knit. I think that would be a really lovely dress for the summer, um, just to chuck on over like swimming costumes and things. Um, and I'll definitely sew up some of the tank tops as well. So I would definitely recommend that pattern. Um, it's a really enjoyable sew. And I talked a lot more in detail about that pattern in last week's Sunday Sewing Catch Up. Um, but it comes in sizes zero up to 28. For a zero, it's an upper bust measurement of 28 inches, a bust measurement of 30 inches, waist measurement of 23 inches, and a hip measurement of 33 inches. And then for a 28, it's a 56 inch upper bust, 58 inch bust, 51 inch waist, and 61 inch hip. But I would definitely recommend that pattern. Um, so it's the Lola Tank and Dress by Stay Stitch Pattern Company. I'll link it down below as well. And if Hey Sister, hey, so sister have got any more of this ribbon it left, I will link it down below for you as well. So that's all I've been sewing this week. Like I said, it's been a super busy week at work, so I haven't actually had a huge amount of time for sewing. Um, I've been chipping away at my Persephone jeans and they are almost finished. Um, and then obviously those two jersey dresses as well. Um, a couple more pieces of fabric arrived in the post for me. So I mentioned last weekend that I'm going to the New Craft House summer party um, in a couple of weeks' time. And the theme for the party is peace and love. So I've been thinking about what to sew up for the party. I do want to sew something new. I've got loads of things in my wardrobe that I could wear. But I think it's a great opportunity to have some fun with sewing. So I've got a couple of pieces of fabric that I ordered with the party in mind. I still have no idea what type of garment I'm going to sew. Um, I've got a couple of ideas sort of sketched out. 
Um, when I've done a Google search and I've looked on Pinterest and Instagram for the theme peace and love party, um, lots of sort of flared trousers, flared tops with great big flared sleeves of um, sort of, you know, come up as inspiration. There's been a couple of sort of midi dress type um, garments that have come up as, as in inspiration and then tops with mini skirts as well. I'm not a massive fan of a mini skirt. I don't have very many of them in my wardrobe. Um, my ideas and sort of thought processes so far have been some kind of sort of um, bohemian kind of, um, I don't know if that's the right word, but quite a floaty flowy dress or sort of a kind of like sort of a floaty dress that finishes at the knee with like a big sleeve. I'm not quite sure. If anyone's got any thoughts on a peace and love themed sort of garment, doesn't necessarily have to be a dress, but I am leaning towards a dress at the moment. Please do let me know in the comments below because I do still feel a little bit lost about what I'm going to sew up for the party. But I have got two pieces of fabric that are possible contenders to be turned into garments for the party. So the first one was described as Glastonbury and it's from Stitch and Ink and it's a cotton poplin. I think I've got about four metres because I wasn't sure what kind of garment I wanted to go for. So I wanted to make sure I had enough of this fabric to turn it into something. Both of the fabrics that I've ordered have got flowers sort of printed on them because when I thought about peace and love, I thought about flowers and I also thought about love hearts as well. So the first one is sort of a baby pink background. Or is it a white background? I think it might be a white background, actually. But there's so much pink on there, it looks a bit baby pink. But it's a cotton poplin. It's quite lightweight. Um, perfect for the summer. It's got all these gorgeous flowers all over it. Different shapes and sizes. Some are pink and some are orange. And this, I thought, would make a really lovely, tiered, sort of floaty um, dress of some sort. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to go with this fabric or if I'm going to go with the second fabric that I'll share with you in a moment. With this one, I also had ideas of getting some kind of chiffon or some kind of tulle fabric to go over the top of it and maybe embroidering some flowers on top. But again, I'm not 100% sure about that idea either. I feel very confused about what I'm going to sew up. So I really would appreciate some help and some thoughts with the party. And um, so that's the first fabric. And then the second fabric's from the Marzi Fabrics and it's a white background. It was described as, I think it was a seersucker fabric. So it's got sort of um, lines going down it. Um, let me hold it up. White background and it's got heart prints all over it. But within the hearts, you've got all these gorgeous flowers all over it. So this one, I wondered if I could turn it into a two piece. So something like the Sawara set with the top and the trousers. Or again, turn it into like a floaty dress of some sort with some lovely big voluminous sleeves, maybe some tears. Um, but I'm not 100% sure with that fabric either. I just thought that that print matched the theme of the party perfectly with the love hearts and the flowers all over it as well. I've got five metres of this fabric just in case I did want to do some kind of tiered skirt. Um, so yeah, I've got the fabric, still no idea what I'm going to turn them into. So I would really love your thoughts and ideas based on those two fabrics. It's been fun looking for fabrics to fit the theme. And then um, I pre-ordered the Hey So Sister seasonal sewing box. So I got the autumn seasonal sewing box. I missed out on the spring one, but then I saw the summer one coming up and I thought I'd get it for myself as a little treat, a little birthday treat. And it did arrive in the post. So I've got the box here. Um, you get it wrapped up in this box. We had some little strawberry stickers on the front of it and the stamp from Hey So Sister. I absolutely love what is in this season's box. It's absolutely beautiful and I'm really excited about sewing it up. It's a pattern I don't have in my stash, but it's a pattern that I've ummed and ahed about buying, um, which is really exciting. So inside the box, you always get some information about it. Um, so it's called Strawberries and Cream Project Box. Um, and there's lots of information there about the pattern and everything that's in there and where the theme came from. Um, so in it, we've got some dressmakers interfacing, so prim dressmakers interfacing. We've got a little postcard that says, thanks, I made it. And then on the back, there's project pattern notes. Uh, then we get the pattern, and the pattern is the Chalk and Notch um, Marcel Dress and Tank Top, which is aimed at beginners. I absolutely love the look of this, and I'm definitely going to sew the maxi version. So you've got three versions. You've got view A, which is the maxi dress. 
view B, I think it stops at your knee, and then view C is a top. And it's got these really interesting sort of features with the pattern. As you can see, it's got a panel here. It's a little bit gathered. It's got a really short sort of bodice top here with the straps. And then you've got gathers and tears, which just looks like a really interesting construction. This pattern comes in sizes zero to 30. So for a zero, it's a 30 inch high bust. A full bust for an AB measurement, 32 inches. Full bust CD cup, 34 inches. Waist measurement, 25 inches. And a hip measurement of 35 inches. And then for a 30, it's a 54 inch high bust measurement. 56 inch full bust AB cup. 58 inch full bust CD cup. 49 inch waist measurement and 59 inch hip measurement. In terms of fabric recommendations, they recommend light to medium weight woven fabric with nice drape. Recommended fabrics are rayon chalice, rayon crepe, rayon voile, cotton lawn, cotton voile, cotton shirting, linen and double gauze. Um, and then we get some thread, Gutterman thread. We also get these really cute strawberry um, stickers. I'm going to take those to school for the children. I think they'll absolutely love them. I'll put them out on the crafting table or maybe the writing table for them. But yeah, loads of cute little like strawberry stickers. Um, I think they'll really enjoy using those. And then the fabric is this absolutely beautiful red and white striped. I think it's a viscose linen, if I have a quick look. Yeah, it's a dead stock linen and viscose blend in red and white vertical stripes. And I think we could have so much fun playing around with the stripes with that um, pattern. I think it looked really fun. So I'm really excited about sewing that up. That's definitely going to be a summer holiday sewing project. Um, my next couple of weeks, I've got four weeks left at school and they are really, really busy. I've got lots of transition things going on and lots of new children coming to visit and things. It's always super duper busy um, in the summer term for schools. So I know that I'm not going to have a huge amount of time for sewing. The next thing I wanted to share is a sewing book and I asked for this for my birthday. It was a pre-order and it arrived in the post the other day. I haven't looked at it properly, um, but once I have looked at it properly, I will let you know what I think about it. But it's um, the Sewing Bee winner from last year, Serena, who has written a book called Serena Sews. Um, and it says, forget fast fashion and cheap trends. Serena Baker is here to help you craft the sustainable wardrobe of your dreams. Um, so whether you're brand new to sewing or looking for something a little different, you'll learn how to master must-have skills from zip insertion to pressing perfection. Refashion existing items like an oversized shirt into a summer dress or an old pair of jeans into a cute crop top. Save money and work sustainably by choosing pre-loved garments and fabrics for your projects. So inside the book... Um, you've got the content. So the book is broken down into an introduction, sustainability and sewing, always be organised, prepare your patterns, build from the basics. Um, and then the patterns, you've got drop shoulder pattern alteration, a square neck pattern alteration, a tie back pattern alteration, skirts, which include the side slit skirt and a ruched skirt. The villain, Villanelle dress, which is this one that Serena's holding. Uh, the 60s dress and then there's bags. So a circle bag, a cube get bag, a tote bag and a knot bag. And then there's some accessories as well. So scrunchies, headbands and earrings, jeans refashion and the everyday robe. So I'll just show you a little bit from the book. I'm not going to show you all of it. Um, but yeah, there's an introduction from Serena about her book. Um, then why she loves sewing, how to use the book. So the book's designed to teach you the foundation skills of sewing and to begin creating patterns from basic designs that are comfortable, versatile, and will incorporate these foundational techniques. So inside here, there is a QR code and you scan the QR code to get the, um, the blocks for the pattern. So with the book, you've been given access to a bodice, a sleeve, and an A-line skirt block. These are all you require to create the projects in the upcoming pages. So to access them, you follow the QR code below or type the link into a browser. And you'll be able to download the files. Um, and it says, if you already have basic pattern blocks that you love and fit you well, then feel free to use these when making the project. The garments will still turn out great. And then as you go through the book, there's things like uh, information about interfacing, stay stitching, under stitching, top stitching, sewing darts, gathering, bias binding and then there are some um, patterns in here too 
that you draft based on the blocks that you get at the start of the book. So there's skirts like the side slit skirt, the 60s dress, which I think is a really lovely shape as well. So I haven't looked at it properly, so I can't give you any information really about the book yet until I've dived into it properly. But I just thought I'd share you a little snippet of the book. I really love this one, um, the chic dress. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's sort of quite reminiscent of the gathered um, sort of tiered skirts and dresses that I've been sewing up recently. Um, but I really love the colour blocking aspect there. So I'm looking forward to diving into that book a little bit more. Um, and then the final thing I like to finish with is um, some sewing plans that I've got. So the next four weeks, I've already said, are going to be super duper busy. Um, I've got various things going on in the evenings with like late working and meetings and all that kind of thing. But I have got a couple of things cut out and ready to go that I'm really hoping, especially in the next week, I'm hoping there's one thing that I would be able to get sewn up. And that is the Deer and Doe Myosotis in this absolutely gorgeous fruity um fabric that i talked about last sunday isn't that a fun fruity fabric i love all the little faces so i've got it cut out ready to sew up there's only a week left of the sew fruity challenge over on instagram so i'm really hoping i can get this sewn up in the next couple of days um so that i can enter it into the sew fruity challenge and then the other project i've got cut out is the coralie swimsuit and bikini by tilly and the buttons it's the new pattern that's just come out I've got the bikini set cut out with the ruffle on the bikini top and the ruffle on the bikini bottoms as well. And I had some of this um, swimwear lycra fabric in my stash. I used this to make some Hubie leggings, which is a sew over it pattern. I've got this fabric from Fabric Godmother. I think they might have some left in the sale actually, but it's got lemonade sort of glasses all over this green sort of background. But I've got this cut out to sew up the bikini top and the bottoms and I'm really hoping that I can get this sewn up this week as well we'll see I've got some lining fabric from like so amazing just a beige lining fabric uh, for the swimwear I'll link that down below in case you're looking for any lining I think they still had some in stock but I've got those two projects cut out I've got my jeans that I want to finish by just adding the buttons um, and that's everything that I'm hoping to get sewn up in the next week um, now just to say I am going to be taking a little bit of a break from my Sunday sewing catch-ups for the next couple of weeks um, I might have some videos that I can release during the week but it just depends how busy I am um, it's my daughter's birthday next weekend next Sunday so I'm going to be busy with things to do with that the following weekend we've got her sort of party with her friends as well and then the week after that we've got our final market before we break for the summer so the next couple of weekends are just super busy so I just don't think I'll get the chance to film any videos and edit them so I am going to take probably about a three or four week break from my Sunday sewing catch-ups I've got a couple of videos already filmed that could come out midweek it just depends if I have a chance to edit them um, but I'll be back once the school break starts I'll have plenty of time to film lots and lots of videos so I'll be back in a couple of weeks um, if you've enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed it'd be really great if you could hit, hit that subscribe button then you'll get notified of when I bring out my next videos thank you as always for watching take care and I'll be back soon with another video take care bye